<laughs> now, uh, the, you, at the top of the, of the uh, segment, you saw Barack Obama admitting, uh, you know, in a 60 Minutes interview that he smoked marijuana and did other drugs as well. Uh, but unless you really live in California right now, it's very hard to grasp a crazy situation that's developing, especially in California, involving so-called me medical marijuana. It's legal under state law, but it's illegal under federal law. So as a result, there are scores of marijuana dispensaries in cities up and down the California coast. In some neighborhoods, they seem more uh, common than McDonald's or Starbucks. But where those shops get the weed that they are selling is a very tricky proposition that could land the, uh, land the seller, the buyers, behind bars. Now, to get rid of the inconsistencies and maybe chart a new course, and this is very, very controversial territory, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has suggested opening a robust debate on legalization. It's an issue that has troubled and divided America for an awfully long time. Do you feel that there's something incongruous about the fact that you're on the, you've been asked to join the President's Commission Against Drug Abuse and the American Bar Association uh, Council Against Drug Abuse and here you're being thrown out of the country because of a, an arrest for pot that goes back a year? Are they asking us to become uh, artists in residence for New York City and to help awareness um, in the city of art and music and, and love and peace and love, you know. The attempt by the Nixon administration in the early 1970s to use an old pot bust in Britain as the reason to deport anti-war activist John Lennon is one small example of one of the longest running arguments in American society. It's the great heads versus feds debate, which has accelerated as presidents who came of age during the drug era took office. George W. Bush indirectly admitted using. Clinton tried to have it both ways. I experimented with marijuana a time or two, and I didn't like it, and didn't inhale. Barack Obama came clean. I inhaled uh, frequently. That was, uh, that, was, that was the point. I'm always for an open debate on it, and I think that we ought to study very carefully on what other uh, countries are doing that have legalized marijuana. As he gets set to leave public office, the California governor has reignited the passionate debate. We all smoke a joint here, then, <laughs> let's face it. I've said this before, almost everyone I know has tried weed at one time or another. Most of you watching have tried it. Not all, but most. But despite that almost universal experience, arrest for pot possession is still far and away the most common criminal offense. Item 2007. According to the FBI, there were more than 775,000 Americans busted that year for simple pot possession. That's way more than the total busted for violent crime. And processing those pot arrests costs hundreds of millions of dollars annually. And it takes cops off the streets who could be going after child killers and terrorists. But as I tell school children who think marijuana can't hurt you, a pot bust can still wreck your life. Hence the decades-long dilemma. Despite the lives ruined and the hundreds of billions spent on the drug war, marijuana is cheaper, stronger, and more widely available than ever. And let me let you in on a secret. Do you want to know why Mexico has become the superhighway for imported drugs? Remember Miami Vice? Are you stopping the drugs coming in, or are you merely diverting them from South Florida? That's I the think question. we're doing both. Some have been diverted. We've got a national problem. This is a national answer, and we hope it'll prove successful. It didn't, with all due respect to President Bush. However you feel about the legalization and taxation of marijuana, it is being grown in a field, factory, attic, or basement near you, and your neighbor is toking up. 